Good day to all. For today, we'll be discussing stability analysis of dynamic systems through our performed example procedures. Here are the members for the merged groups 3 and 4. For example procedure 1, there will be four transfer functions provided and for each, the poles, PZ plot, and stability properties were determined. Either they are asymptotically stable system, marginally stable system, or an unstable system. For procedure 1A, we were given the transfer function H of S is equals to 1 all over S plus 1. We have poles at negative 1, and here is the busy plot wherein the pole is located at the left half plane, meaning it is a asymptotically stable system. For procedure 1b, we are given the transfer function h of s is equals to 1 all over s, and poles at origin or 0. For the busy plot, the pole is located at 0 making it an unstable system. For procedure 1c, we are given the transfer function h of s is equals to 1 all over s squared and poles at origin both 0, 0. For the PZ plot, the pole is located as said same as the previous with both poles at 0, making it also an unstable system. For 1D, we are given the transfer function h of s is equals to 1 all over s minus 1 and poles at 1. For the PZ plot, the pole is located at the right half plane, making it also an unstable system. For example, procedure 3, given with the following transfer functions, h sub pm is equals to 2 all over s h sub c of s is equals to kp and as well three different values for k sub b which are 1, 2, and 4. The stability property for each was determined for every k sub b given. Given the system formula for a negative feedback loop, we have the formula h sub c of s times h sub pm of s all over 1 plus h sub c of s times h sub pm of s. For k sub b equals to 1, using MATLAB functions, we define the simplified transfer function with poles at negative 2. The transfer function for these are 2 all over s plus 2. As well, the PZ plot and step response suggest that the transfer function is stable. Same formula. For k sub b is equal to 2 using MATLAB functions, the simplified transfer function was defined as 4 all over s plus 4 and having a pole at negative 4. As well, for the PZ plot and step response suggests that the transfer function is also stable. Lastly, have the same also have the same formula. For k sub p is equals to 4 using MATLAB functions, the simplified transfer function was defined as 8 all over s plus 8 and poles at negative 8. And the PZ plot and the step response presents that the transfer function is also stable. For example, procedure 4, we were given with various block diagrams and we determined their stability property as well. For procedure 4a, given a parallel loop, applying its formula wherein simply adding the two system and simpl simplifying them by MATLAB, we have our PZ plot, step response impulse, showing a stable wave, and poles will suggest an asymptotically stable system. For procedure 4B, 
given a negative feedback loop. Applying its formula to MATLAB, we have our pulse, PZ plot, and step response impulse presenting an asymptotically stable system since the impulse shows, shows an shown an evident decreasing wave. For procedure 4C, given a parallel loop, again to simply by adding the two system and through MATLAB, we have our PZ plots, pulse, and step response suggesting an unstable system. For procedure 4D, given a negative feedback loop, again applying its formula to MATLAB, we have our pulse PC plot and step response impulse presenting a stable system since the value started at left half plane. For procedure 4E, given a negative feedback loop with the help of MATLAB, we have our poles at left half plane, PC plot and step response impulse presenting a stable system. In conclusion, at the end of the laboratory exercise, the students were able to analyze the stability of a dynamic system. Even with the skills in designing a system, it is still important to have thorough knowledge and understanding with regards to what stability is, how it is determined, and why it matters to process design. When a system or design is unstable, the output of the said system can be infinite even though its input is, infin is finite. This will lead to a certain amount of physical damage to the system which will not bring good and can be costly. With that being said, even if all the coefficients that will be recorded from the system are positive, there is still a possibility that the system is unstable. To prevent this, the students understood the three tests that will be conducted for stability, namely Route Hurwitz criteria, Root Locus, and Nyquist stability criteria. The students also understood that when the poles are closed loop and located at the right half plane, it will make the system unstable. On the other hand, when the poles are located to, le to the left half plane, it will make the system stable. And that's all. Thank you for listening.